Good morning, everybody. We are slowly moving this morning. We've actually been up for a while, but um, last week we worked with the hens on getting them and the newbies all into the new hen house. Um, I have several that keep jailbreaking come mid morning. The mature hens are at least making their way back to the hen house at night. I think I've got one that likes to hang out and I have no idea where she hides. We're about two, three fourths of the new hen, the new bunch, younger bunch, that will come to the hen house to roost at night. And we wind up usually picking up 15, 20 birds um, and actually bringing, carrying them over here. As far as the egg laying, well, that ain't happening yet. They are still laying everywhere. Um, <coughs> I'm just gonna turn this around. Where's the... There. Those the ducks. They're all sharing nicely together. There's Jen. There's Tom. <coughs> are still having issues with the hens are not wanting to lay in here um, and there's a couple things we're gonna do to fix it but I really can't do it until it's cooler so this fall this chicken coop is not done yet the hen house um, so this fall we're going to the rest of this this will all be sheeted on the inside which will A, help with insulation, and B, they won't be able to get out these rafters, which is how the hens are getting out now. Um, they jump up on the roost. I even took these top two roosts off, this one and that one, and they're still jumping out. So it's one of those, like, it's not gonna help until we actually seal this up so they can't get out. Um, we played with the idea of leaving it open just for ventilation in the summer, problem is it will sometimes get so cold here in the winter we need it closed to keep stuff. Um, we're going to put windows in. It's just not done yet. There will wind up being a couple windows on this wall and probably two or three on this south wall just for ventilation and we can actually get a good breeze going through here that way. But yeah, that's the plans for the coop. The hens that keep jailbreaking at night are also the ones who refuse to lay in the coop. So, um, I was getting almost back up to two dozen eggs when I had everybody locked in here, but I was still finding eggs outside. And it was the ones that were getting out, were laying them outside the coop. So, I at least know who's not laying in the coop, but I still have no way to get them to stay in the coop until we actually finish it. So that's our chicken update. One of our young roosters right here. Come on over. Figuring life out. We're up to seven roosters in this group that I know of. Um, there's one of our mature roosters over there. Here's the other one. There's one more, the big fluffy yellow one. And handsome is someplace. These are matures. And then I've got three younger roosters. For a total of seven. And so far they all get along. Um, part of why I can have so many roosters is I have so many hens. There are about 73. still have three over in the nursery barn that are smaller um, that'll move over here as soon as honestly as soon as I finish the feed they will actually move over to their southern hen house so in a couple weeks everybody will actually be together the two geese will move as well so yeah that's what we've got going on today with the chickens <laughs> 